sure you got everything, love? I'm not sure, Dad. You don't. Know. Wanna go upstairs, say goodbye to the old flat? Do you? Not really, no. Emotionally, I don't think I can handle it. But not if the cockroaches start to cry again. I still say we are making a big mistake, Charlie. It won't be easy for you to leave London. Yeah, you're right. Tower Bridge is up. The traffic will be murder. It's not too late to change your mind. No, it is. But, Mrs. Riley, you've got to admit this area is going to the dogs. When Joanna starts coming on with a black eye, it's time for us to move out. That's because there were three of them, Dad. And I got one of them sneezing out of his ear. It is. <laughs> so, how are you going to support yourself? Don't worry. I've got a great job in a great place. It's all fresh air, green grass, green fields, green trees. Well, you know, it's very green. And I thought you loved London. Yeah, I do. I love my daughter more. You take care, eh, Mrs. Riley? You too, Charlie. Bye. You are a Londoner, Charlie. You are going to miss the heartbeat of the city. The community spirit and the friendly neighbors. Bye, Charlie. We'll miss you. some man. Well, what does he want? I don't know. He's just standing out there. You mean he didn't even ask? No, you said see who's at the door. You didn't say open it. <laughs> Tom, I'm warning you, Joan Crawford is my idol. Morning. May I help you? Well, if you're Caroline Wheatley, I'm here to help you. I beg your pardon? I'm Charlie Burrows. I'm here about the job. Oh, I'm sorry. There must be some mistake. This job's for a housekeeper. <laughs> That's me. Mr. Mop. But, uh, well, my mother's interviewing everyone. Did you meet her? Yeah, yesterday. Oh, don't worry, she gave me the full MOT. You know, checked the bodywork, kicked me in the tyres, put me on the ramp. Well, she should have looked under your bonnet, cos you're the wrong sex. <laughs> she said that wouldn't be a problem. My mother didn't think World War II was a problem. Well, that must be Tom. He's a good-looking kid. Thank you. Just like his mother. Hello, Tom. I'm Charlie. Hello. Your uh, grandmother tells me you're the expert on reptiles. I am. Great. That's good to have a hobby. Excuse me, I'm in a terrible rush. I've got to get Tom to school and I've got a train to catch. Well, I could take him. Huh? No. No, thank you. Tom, didn't I tell you to take the snake out of the living room? Not today, you didn't. <laughs> Must you be so literal? Yes. Give me strength. Tom, why don't you take your little friend upstairs? He doesn't like it upstairs. He gets vertigo. <laughs> What you've got to ask yourself at times like this is, who pays your pocket money? Your mother or the snake? Good point. Mm. <laughs> well, sorry, Sydney. Money talks and you don't. <laughs> Thank you. Um, where were we? Oh, yes. You were at the door and I was about to close it. Oh, look, hang on. I've, well, I've given up my flat and everything. Well, your mother assured me I had the job, except for one small formality. What formality? You saying yes. <laughs> Do you have any references? No. Nope. Do you have any experience? No. How many jobs have you had as a housekeeper? Uh, one. Well, if I get this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here you are, Mr. Burroughs. And right on time. What a reliable person, eh? Well, how's everything going with you two? In the direction of the door. The door? Caroline, what seems to be the problem? The problem is, Mother, you've sent me a man as a housekeeper. Don't be sexist. A man can do meaningless, unproductive work just as well as a woman. <laughs> there, the housekeeper's room is very close to mine. Oh, don't worry about me. Well, I can eat garlic and sleep with a crucifix by my bed. <laughs> and this 
always got a sense of humour. Well, I'm sorry, but it doesn't look right or feel right for a man to be living here alone. But he's not alone. Didn't you tell her about Joanna? No. You're married? Oh, no, no, no. Joe's my daughter. Oh, she's great. You'll love her. She's in the van. I'll go and get her. No, no, wait! Oh. Isn't he perfect? No. <laughs> Caroline, he loves children, and children just adore him. Who told you that? The man who runs the Deptford Youth Club. Charlie coaches their football team. They worship him. Mother, on Christmas Island, they worship coconuts. Let's keep a perspective here. <laughs> Caroline, my instincts tell me that this is the man for my grandson. A and it doesn't hurt that he's a hunk. Mother, I don't want a hunk as a housekeeper. Why not? He'll do the floors, he'll lift furniture. Can I come over when he lifts? Mother, <laughs> control yourself. Now, just deal with it. If I were ten years younger, if I were five years younger, who am I kidding? I'd take him to death. <laughs> Mother, we don't know anything about this man. I do. I spoke to his parish priest. Oh, he has a tragic past. Oh, God. I don't think I want to hear this. <laughs> He's an ex-footballer. He used to play for a first division club or something for a while. Then he got injured and they sacked him, the swines. And at about the same time, his young wife died. Mother, don't do this to me. <laughs> They've been childhood sweethearts, Caroline. Since then, he's been working at odd jobs. You know, a widower, alone in life, trying to bring up his little girl against all the odds. You did it to me. Caroline, <laughs> without his father around, Tom needs a male role model. And Charlie, is he male or is he male? I could find plenty of odd jobs for him to do. Mother. <laughs> Here she is. This is Joe. Ah, oh, she got that playing football. Joe, I want you to meet some very nice people. This is Mrs. West. Hello. Oh, pleased to meet you. And this is Mrs. Wheatley. Oh, very pleased to meet you, Mrs. Wheatley. You have a lovely home and you're so pretty. Thank you. I'm very flattered. That's the idea. <laughs> and this is Tom. Tom, this is Joe. Hello. Hello. See that? They're getting on like a house on fire. <laughs> well, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. Caroline, you need a saint to run this household, and Mother Teresa is unavailable. This is the next best thing. But look, I'm no saint. No, he isn't. <laughs> but I do need the job. And Joe needs a good place where she can grow up and learn some manners. And, well, I've got a feeling you need us. It's all right with me, Mummy. There you are. The deciding vote. Oh, what the hell. Let's give it a try. Great. You won't regret it. I'll go and get our stuff from the van. I suppose we better organise a place for you in school. Oh, don't worry. I did all that yesterday. Mother! <laughs> I, uh, I think I'll just go and watch him unload. Are you afraid of snakes? <laughs> afraid? I had a bark constrictor when I was a kid. It swallowed live mice. And once, yeah, a kid bigger than you. Are there any more questions? Yes. Is it too late to change my vote? <laughs> Simon, thank you again. It was a lovely evening. It was. Would you like to come in for a coffee? Yes, that would be nice, a coffee. And... And a what? A sandwich. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. 250 quid for a meal and you still come away hungry. <laughs> I'm fed up with Nouvelle Cuisine. The waiter had more food on his sleeve than I had on my plate. <laughs> have a seat. I'll see what we have. Well, I don't know if the clients were impressed with the food. They were certainly impressed with you. You're absolutely charming. Thank you, boss. No, seriously, Caroline, your media plan was absolutely brilliant. So was the way you pretended you'd seen it before. <laughs> well, we make a great team. Yeah. How about a green salad? <laughs> uh, this is potato salad. True, but it is green. <laughs> I'm afraid I haven't done any shopping since the last housekeeper left. Well, I'll quite happily settle for toast and marmalade. <laughs> toast, I can manage. I may not be great in the kitchen, but I certainly make up for it in the boardroom. I'm not bored. Oh, oh, oh clumsy clod, 
Let's try right, it again. Let me have no, 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 don't touch it. Wait, I'll get a dustpan and brush. You'll catch yourself. Hey, this is good china. I know. I care enough to break the very best. I have a wonderful idea. We can't. My son's upstairs. I don't mean upstairs. I mean up the M11. I've got a place we can go to this weekend. This weekend? Oh, I don't know if my mother can have Tom this weekend. I've got a whole cabinet full of Wedgwood. <sighs> mm. We can smash the lot. Oh, Wedgwood. Mm. Oh, Simon. Mm. Now you're really getting to me. Mm. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Oi! <laughs> you leave her alone, Buster. Or say goodbye to your marbles. Hey, wait, wait. Your guest? I thought you'd be in a tap. What were you doing rolling around on the floor? Well, we weren't rolling around on the floor. We were picking up a broken plate. Well, both of you? It was a big plate. <laughs> Caroline, who is this? Well, Simon, you're, you're not going to believe this, but, uh, well, this is my new housekeeper. Housekeeper? Caroline, this is the ugliest woman I've ever seen. <laughs> Who is this Burke? Charlie, this Burke is my boss. Your boss? I thought they chased you around your desk, not around your cooker. Excuse me, I don't think I have to explain my behaviour to a male Mary Poppins. <laughs> Why don't you just pop upstairs and get back into bed? There's a good chap. Listen, don't patronise me or I'll... You're what? Simon, behave yourself. You don't tell me to behave myself. Talk to Guy the Gorilla here. Right, that's it. <laughs> I'm going to make your dentist stay here. Now go to your room. Oh, Caroline. Your room now. What a Burke. Goodbye, Charlie. And Simon, you go home. Caroline. Simon, please go home. Charlie, go to your room. Come on, Charlie. I'm really sorry about this. Yes, yeah, so am I. Uh, well, well, we'll talk about the weekend at the office tomorrow. Sure. Well, good night. Good night, Simon. Good night, Rambo. Good night, Simon. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I knew it. It is not going to work. It is just not going to work. No, it will. Well, I thought he was a burglar, that's all. We've just got our wires crossed. Ah, cross your wire. You have just intruded on a personal moment with someone I happen to like very much. In future, if you feel tempted to butt in, please butt out. OK. And the next time I see somebody crawling all over you on the floor, I'll know that's how you entertain your friends. I think we'd better continue this conversation in the morning. Right now, I am so angry I could strangle you. Let's go to bed. Right. <laughs> I haven't been to sleep yet. <laughs> well, it's you. I thought it was Tom. No, it's me. Well, what is it? Another burglar? Look, don't take this as an apology or anything, but... Well, I suppose I messed things up a bit for you tonight. Just a bit. Is it going to cost you your job? No, I don't think so. But it may have cost me a promotion. Promotion? What kind of promotion? The kind I dream about. Being made creative director. Well, Simon's been moved up to chairman of the board and he's going to recommend his replacement this week and I'm in with a chance. Oh, great. Well, it was great until he threatened to knock his block off. I <laughs> oh, said, so no problem. A smart lady like you could be created director somewhere else. Oh, sure. I'll just trot down to the job centre tomorrow and see what they have on <laughs> I have messed things up, haven't I? Probably. I want this promotion. I've worked a long time for it. Ever since my husband left me. Anyway... It's taken me a long time to get this far, and quite honestly, I'd really like to go all the way. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> now, just a minute. Nothing was going to happen here. Well, why should it when a man's got a perfectly good cottage in Suffolk? So that's where you're going with him this weekend? Unless you've messed that up for me as well. You mean you and this Burke still haven't, uh... As a matter of fact, no. What am I 
you saying? I don't even tell these things to my hairdresser. Well, it's a good job you told me, because I can tell you, you don't need to do that to get the job. Charlie, I'm going to say this very slowly. My promotion has nothing to do with my weekend. You'll never know unless you don't go. Very good. Now recite Wee Willy Winky. Look, you don't need to go away. Well, you can get the job on your own merit. It's like the song says. The song? Yeah. And through it all, when there was doubt, I ate it up. And I spat it out. <laughs> I faced them all. And I stood tall. And I did it my way. We're talking about my life, and you're giving me philosophy from Frank Sinatra? Nope, it's just my way of getting a point across to you. Now, do you think you can remember what I said? Charlie, if I had a lobotomy, I could remember that. Yeah, good. <laughs> oh. And you never catch me doing anything stupid like sleeping with my employer. Alright. <laughs> 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 All right, egg lovers, let's show those chickens I haven't laid in vain. <laughs> I have mine scrambled. Yeah, coming up. What about you, Tom? Fried, boiled, poached? How about an omelette? Tom, how do you want your eggs? In the show, I hate eggs. I'll just have some crunchy crawlers and a cup of coffee. Crunchy crawlers and a cup of coffee? Sure you don't want to finish it off with a vodka and tonic? <laughs> Let me see that. Look at this. It's all bleach flour and sugar. And look at the additives. Hmm. You eat this, you'll be a walking pimple. How's it goes? Hey, I always have that for breakfast. So start eating eggs. Yeah. You can share these scramble. There you go, darling. And you. I don't want to get stuck in. Yuck, isn't there anything else? Yeah, hunger. Well, <laughs> <laughs> look who's up. The lady of the house. Good morning. Good morning. Can I cook you something for breakfast? Uh, no, thank you. Just orange juice and coffee. You sure? I'm sure. Tom, since when did you start eating eggs? Since Charlie threw away my crunchy crawlers. He says it was either that or hunger. You threatened my son? Y yeah. Oh, seems to be working. <laughs> <laughs> So, did you, uh, think about it? Yes, just orange juice and coffee. Now, what were we talking about? Oh, that. Yes, well, I'm just going to let what happens happen. Well, hang on, if you just let what happens happen, then when what you want to happen happens, well, you won't know whether it happened because of what happened. Will you? Well, I just meant, I think... Listen, there are some things in life which are no good for you, like, like crunchy crawlers. And men who now, just... Now, just a minute. If I want... Crunchy crawlers. I will have crunchy crawlers. Crunchy crawlers are insubstantial. Well, they're not really satisfying. In an hour, you're going to want something else. <laughs> Maybe. I'll want more crunchy crawlers. I've got eight minutes to get you to the train. Oh, time really flies when you're bored, doesn't it? Come on, let's go. Bye, Tom. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Joe. Bye. What was that all about? Sex. <laughs> I think I, <clears throat> I probably overreacted a little bit last night. Do you think we could just, just forget the whole damn episode? It's forgotten. Good. Well, look, we can leave right after work on Friday. It would be nice to get away. Yes, no phone, no kids, no television, absolutely nothing at all to do. <laughs> well, almost nothing. <laughs> Simon, hmm? be honest with me. Does my promotion have anything to do with our... Weekend together. Well, Paul Clark's up for it, and I haven't invited him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you know, I, I think we ought to postpone the weekend until after they decide on the new creative director. Why? Because if I go away with you and then I get the job, I'll never know if it was because I was good or because I was... good. <laughs> I'd know. Yes, well, you can, you can joke about it if you like, but... Uh, but what? Well... Yes? I'd like to think that I uh, faced them all and I stood tall. <laughs> and I did it my way. <laughs> I don't believe I said that. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. All right. What are you doing? What are this? This is called aerobic house cleaning. You get lean while you clean. <laughs> <laughs>
You're always home, Miss Early. Well, uh, Simon decided to call a special meeting of the partnership to decide on the new creative director this afternoon. Well, shouldn't you be there to hear the good news? Oh, yes, I should, but uh, Fiona's going to ring and tell me. Oh, it's not very good for the image if they all see me with my mascara running. <laughs> oh, don't worry, you'll get it. Well, you can never be sure. Oh, uh, Charlie, uh, don't take this as a compliment, but, uh, well, I decided to follow your advice and I'm not going away with him for the weekend. That's great. I hope you're right. <laughs> oh, hello. The Bass Street kids. I was school today. You two eat lunch together? No, I play football. Yeah? What about you, Tom? I was in science lab having lunch with an alligator. An alligator? Oh, I like alligators. Remember that one in Peter Pan who bit off Captain Hook's arm? That was a crocodile. I'm starving. <laughs> I need a yogurt. Yeah, good idea. Yogurt on the house. What about you, Tom? Yuck. <laughs> So, tell me all about school, Joe. How was it? Oh, it was great, Dad. Playground's beautiful. So nice to sit on a bench without having to push a drunk off. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. Dad, how can a woman make enough money to buy a terrific house like this? Well, I mean, she worked hard. She's very clever. Like, you could do the same thing. I could? Absolutely. Women can do anything they set their minds on. In that case, I'm playing first division football. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be very proud of you when you're scoring the winning goal at Wembley 8, but you'd have to watch it in the showers. <laughs> Come on, you're turn to be a girl. Yeah, right. I'll be out in a sec. Hello, weekly residents. Charlie speaking. Oh, hello, Fiona. From the office? No, no, she's getting changed. Can I take a message? What, she got it? Oh, great. Yeah, I'll... I'll tell her, uh, uh, Mr. Bellamy will call, yeah? Oh, great. Yeah, thanks for the tip, Fiona. Yeah. You sound nice too, Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bye. Was that the telephone? Yeah, that was the telephone. Ah. Who was it? Oh, it's just some geezer trying to sell me some life insurance. Oh, good. Well, that's the end of all my problems. You insure yourself and I'll push you off a cliff. You still blame me, don't you? No, I don't blame you. I just hate you. Well, you made me do the right thing. You sure? Now I'm sure. Why? Well, because, uh... You got it. That wasn't the insurance man? No, nope, that was Fiona. I've got it. You got it. Maybe <laughs> I see your mother's going to be a creative director. Not bad. Yeah, great. Let's celebrate. Let's play football. Let's go bowling. Yeah. yeah. I think I'll just have a glass of white wine and a hot bath. What about you, Tom? I'm going to read Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't anyone know how to have fun in Henley? I do. Come on, then. You're in goal. <laughs> right.